Hey Jordan, how you doing? My name is Bree from Northland Marketing. I spoke with you earlier and as promised, here's more analysis. I wanted to get on here real quick to go through your site in this video, do an audit and show you personally what's holding your site back from being in the top three on Google. I'm gonna jump in, start going through what we see and where we think you would get the most value. I'm gonna mainly be going over three things you could do today really bring value to the company and start outranking your competitors online. The very first thing I want to go over is your website and then what we call content. So when someone is searching, for example, roofing Columbus, Ohio, Google crawls the websites on the internet, searching and ranking the results. Google's looking for keywords. It's trying to figure out what the website should be found for. When I go through your website, I see you have some great photos a beautiful layout but not a whole lot of content and one thing I can tell you about Google is that they love content <laughs> I like to see a minimum of 1500 words and you guys only have like 270 words on here adding that additional content with the keywords you're trying to target is really going to make a difference in you being found now, not only does Google come in and look at your site they actually crawl that content. They're reading it. They're trying to figure out what services you offer and where you serve. That's where the keywords come into play. It helps them understand that. So having that listed 10 to 15 times really ensures that they're going to be able to find you. Now, when I come here to your blog page, it's kind of confusing to me. I see this one post here and I don't see any over here. I'm not sure what this is. Um, so I think your blog part is a little confusing here. But other than that, your website does look pretty good on the home page. Obviously, we do have a minimum requirement for those words, so we aren't hitting that. But in terms of design, I think your website looks pretty good. So let's go to a search for Roofing Columbus, Ohio. We can see that they're all running ads right here. All right. And this is called the map pack. The top three listed here are the ones that receive a lot of the work because they're super easy to find and they're listed right away. The websites listed below here, these are called the organics and the same things apply. You want to be in the top three, really on that first page, but ideally in the top three so that the most amount of people are going to find you. If we look at Newman Roofing Company, I can see they're first here. They're not in the map pack actually but they're paying to be first up here as well, right? So if you didn't have to pay for ads and you were actually listed first here, uh, you'd be able to save some money. They'd be able to save some money. Now let's talk about their company. So we can see it's a nice page, right? Looks good. They've got some words on here. But if you guys had 1,500 words on your homepage, you'd definitely be beating them out content-wise. So let's talk about why they were listed first. This is a paid program I use to research websites called Arifs. I went ahead and put them into here so we can see what you're up against. The second thing I want to go over is UR and DR ratings. These ratings are really important to where you fall on Google. Now, the UR rating is a trust rating. That means how much Google is trusting your website. The DR rating is showing how powerful your website is in their eyes. These numbers are generally raised by backlinks. We can see that they have about 1,800 backlinks coming from 109 websites, and 71 of those websites are powerful. Now, you're probably like, what the heck is a backlink? <laughs> a backlink refers to a link that is pointing back to your website, okay? In Google's eyes, everything is a freaking popularity contest. A good example of this would be if a blog website wrote an article about roofing companies, they listed your website URL as a company they recommended. That would be one backlink. And I wanna call attention to their organic keywords. These are keywords within their content, and this is what I was talking about before. So they have these in Spanish here, right? Right, the so roofing companies that do good work. Um, there's a volume of 200 people, so that means there's approximately 200 people searching for that. Interesting. Okay, let's talk about the local keywords. 
So Roof Repair Columbus, Ohio. There's approximately 100 people Googling that every single month, right? And they're showing up in roughly first place. Roofing Columbus, Ohio, there's roughly 200 people Googling that a month. Okay, that's a lot between just the two of those. Roofers Columbus, another 150 people roughly. Roofing Company Columbus, Ohio, another 80 people roughly. There's a good amount of people searching. Roof Repair Columbus, OH, another 100 people, right? So just in those couple of terms, there's quite a few people that are searching for these services. That's important. The more people you show up in front of, the more people that will click your website, and the more people that are going to call you. So you're going to want to get to the top for these keywords so more people can find you. Let's look at your website's ratings. We can see you have a little bit of a rating, but there's barely anything here, right? These numbers are really low comparatively. We have 33 overall backlinks coming from 10 websites, and only four of those are powerful. In addition to this, you have zero keywords, which means you're targeting zero words, okay? So you're not showing up in those organics on the first page for anything. So in this video, we went over how you can raise those numbers up so one, through your home page and how you're going to want to have at least 1,500 words. Two, through those UR and DR ratings and how you're going to want to raise those through backlinks. And then three, the backlinks. So what your competition has and how to beat them out. By showing Google, you have more authority. And if you implemented these strategies today, you could be on the front page of Google. Now, I wanted to go ahead and record this video for you guys. You can do these strategies for any of the locations you have. I know you serve more than just Columbus, Ohio, but I wanted to go over for just Columbus, for example. Hope that this was helpful, and I really appreciate hearing your feedback. Have a great rest of your day.